coming to you from a beautiful Seattle, a spectacular crowd on hand. This is the last game to be played so far. Vegas, New York with the upset yesterday, you said, but all that goes out the window right now, and we are underway. Tebo said it today. He said she has had to deal with so much in her first season as a head coach, but our prayers go out to Shea Petty. That's amazing that Phoenix was able to make Seattle. They tried to get the ball, to, the ball into Tina Charles a couple of times. And the Mystics defense, number one in defensive efficiency tendencies, just as well as anyone else. But as you see in defensive efficiency, also in fewest points per game allowed. For Seattle, as he Magbagor as well, number 13. And beyond January, she took steps. The atmosphere in Vegas was electric. It was a lot. Of Working against January, Machida doesn't shoot a lot. You know, she's talking more, actually, yeah. Pam. Um, has gone from three words to six and a half, yes. seven. Is a, is a concern. I mean, she's got to at least touch the ball. Keeps the defense honest. Here we go. That is a miss. Good cover. Talbot 10th in the league and three percentage this season. Deladon challenged Magdeborn. The best free throw shooters in the history of the league. Nails them both, shooting 91% from the season. Deladon. Call for the offensive foul as January hit the deck. Understanding of angles. And January coming in and doing a great job to give Sue Bird some rest. We talked to the players that after shoot around today and they use that word comfortable a lot. Sue Bird told her teammates in the locker room to board it. Charles working on Deladon uses the left hand. In Seattle and Mystics fans watching as well. Jewel, Seattle leads. Deladon has been unstoppable. And you see Seattle bringing more attention to Deladon. Keeping that in mind. Deladon, tough shot, rebound, Stewart. Breaking Jewel Lloyd's run. Hines Allen fouled. And the Seattle Storm. And boy, the, we anticipated a great one. And I think moving on to the semis, Vegas, New York, Connecticut in the same boat.